What's up, y'all? Show Master Lee. And Lulu. All right, here reacting with our brand new Joyzies. Jaw Master Lee. And Fantasy Lulu. That's right. Hey, if you want to get your own custom jerseys just like this, you got to go check out DIYOJ where they hooked us up. Check out my discount code below to get your own. You can say whatever you want. Saturday Night Live does a great skit on how ridiculous <laughs> some of these storylines are and how the rivalries are built. Really? Yeah, this is a classic one. This is the back when The Rock was on SNL and he was doing a promo and they're just they're kind of poking fun at wrestling. But at the same time, it's this is exactly what wrestling was like before. That when they did promos, it was like half the show and half of it was wrestling. And some of these promos are just talking shit about somebody right. else. Right. And they had to get clever about creating that persona, that oh, personality. Yeah. Right. They get you Sucked in. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. About acting. All right, let's check it out, yo. Yes. By the way, if you want some cool commentary, check out my podcast. And if you want some hotness, check out my fantasy show. Oh, yeah. Woo. 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 <laughs> Who does that? Uh, Roman. <laughs> Actually, no. Close, but not quite. The Rock. He does the wolf. Right. He goes, woo. And he's about to spear you. But no, that, uh, that woo is Ric Flair. Oh. Uh, Okay, moving on to the next promo. Uh, let's get our next two wrestlers in there. Coco Watch Out and Trash Yard Mutt. Great, great. <laughs> hey, I can't wait to work with you, man. This is oh, gonna be great. Man, totally, me too, I can't wait. Yeah, yeah, hey, feel free to just really let me have it in this promo, man, don't hold back. Okay, you sure? Yeah, 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 definitely, just go for it. Okay, cool, yeah, yeah, yeah. all right. Okay, all everybody, right. everybody set? This could be fun. Yeah, That's man. The and <laughs> action. I'm here with our main event competitors, Coco Watch Out and Trash Yard Mutt, and there is no love lost between these two, isn't that right? No! Oh, you ball. better watch out! Because when the mutt gets out of the trash yard, the first thing he's gonna do is take out this big old pile of stinking, rotten garbage! I'm money on this end of that cuckoo! Let me tell you something about this guy! He has herpes! <laughs> it's true! Oh, he's got herpes and he's got it bad! Yeah, well, you can't have sex with anyone without having a talk first because of your herpes. I heard your doctor said it was the most herpes he'd ever seen. <laughs> well, you heard it here first. Junkard Mutt has herpes, and it gets settled this Sunday at WrestleMania. And cut. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> hey, dude. Hey. So what'd you think, man? That's pretty good, right? Um, no, no, not really. <laughs> yeah, no, that stuff was kind of personal. Yeah, maybe, maybe just talk to me more about stuff you're going to do to me in the ring. <laughs> okay, okay, cool, I got it. Yeah, okay, cool, not man. a problem. That's cool. All right, all right. Uh, promo yeah. take two. Okay. And okay. action. Now I'm here with Coco Montana and Trash Bond, and there is no love lost between these two. Isn't that right, Coco? Oh, yeah. When we get in that ring on Sunday, I'm going to tell everybody about what I found on his computer. It's full of family guy porn. <laughs> you keep Googling Lois sex. Brian! And Brian's the dog, man! I like dogs! I... How do you know all of that? I hired a research firm to dig up dirt on you, and then they found a ton. You remember the college girlfriend named Donna? It turns out eight months after you broke up, she had a baby girl, Evelyn. What? I met her! She's a lovely girl, an honor student, and she doesn't want to have a thing to do with you, man, because you'll never meet her, because you're not fit to be a dad, and that's what the cuckoo is cooking! <laughs> you have to make a rock as good. Tell me, yeah, what do no, you have to say to that? He's really good, he's good too. <laughs> you heard it here, folks, and it all gets settled this Sunday. Cut, cut. Uh, I like that. Uh, were you guys feeling that one? No. Yeah, <laughs> you, you said, you said, man, just let you have Yeah, it, I know. Right? Like, take it back, man. Okay, just do normal stuff, like how you're going to, like, rip me apart or something. <laughs> okay, I mean, that seems wrong to me, but okay. No, no, okay, okay, okay. Uh, right. Right. Okay, I got it. Three, come on. All right, all right. Yeah. I'm gonna rip this guy apart, and I mean psychologically. <laughs> yeah, I've been working on something the last eight months, but 
You know the internet girlfriend Stacy? Yeah. The college student who lives in Hawaii yeah. that you've never met in person? Oh, no. Well, I got news for you. She's really not a college student, and her real name's really not Stacy. It's Coco! <laughs> That's right. I catfished your ass. <laughs> I made you fall in love with me, and you had no idea. <laughs> Why are you doing this? And that's not all. You know that cute picture of Stacy that you've been spanking it to? Oh, no. It's actually a picture of Evelyn, daughter. the daughter you never met. Oh, no. I think I'm going to be sick. Well, there you have it, folks. Oh, all of WrestleMania that's this like Sunday. Because uh, oh, that's boy. what Coco is. to be one of the most brave sketches I've seen. Oh my god. Oh my god. You know what's really crazy <laughs> is that a lot of the storylines now in WWE are actually based on things that are happening True in story. real life. Yeah, they involve some aspect where if there is a marital problem, sometimes they'll have it on display like in on the show and they'll tell a story around that. There was actually like back in the day I remember when there was this female wrestler Lita and she was dating somebody else and they hooked up with someone else of a rival faction and Why? they became a couple and they, they like they played that out and yeah she admitted like they took it too far because like it was so personal to her but like even like other things where like when you're picking on the boss right like Vince McMahon people hate that and like you take on the boss there was some animosity sometimes behind the scenes in real life that that's built on because I mean let's, let's be real like wrestlers are not actors by trade sometimes they you know it's got to come from somewhere in terms of what they really feel that's why they go like you suck and this is what you really think and, and, and it does create some damn good drama. Oh my God, but that you said it's scripted. So they all know what's going to be said. Uh, to a degree. They kind of know like, yes, you're going to go out there, you're going to you know, mention this about your life and type of thing. Sometimes you can't, the blind is so blurred sometimes. That's it's crazy. Like, so it's, this is funny because like this was back in 2015, but today those kind of storylines are very prevalent in the WWE. 